Okay, this is module 30. So the first topic here is writing a quadratic function, giving it zeros. So here it says h has zeros of three and five. Now you're doing a quadratic function, which means two um, zeros. So since these are my two zeros, it means x minus three and x minus five are the factors. And you can write it like this. If it expects you to expand it out, then you'd actually have to multiply this and write the expanded version, which is x squared minus 8x plus 15. Here it says whose graph only f, whose only zero is negative two. But remember, we said we had to have at least two zeros. Well, what if you put a square, right? Then that covers the two factors that you need, okay? And if I expand that out, we get that f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now the next topic says finding a polynomial of a given degree with the given real zeros. So here we're doing degree 4, which means we need to have four factors. And I have four zeros, so that should cover all the factors. x minus 2, x plus 8, x minus 1, and then x minus 0. Um, I don't think they, they say leave your answer in factored form, so they don't expect you to multiply it out. It's just this one can be written just as x, and then leave the rest. I don't think it'll get you wrong if you leave it at x, x minus 0, but more formally, they just use x. Now here we're doing a degree of 3, and here it says 8 with multiplicity. 2 and negative 4. So you have x minus 8 but with the multiplicity of 2 and then x minus a negative 4 gives you x, um, x plus 4 and leave it in factored form. Now this topic is a little bit different. It talks about synthetic division and that is something that we have not done yet so we're going to have to kind of set it up explain the process and then um, attempt the next example as a better thorough example. So for the first problem, you have to make sure that this is in descending order. So I have x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and a constant. This is in descending order and no term is missing. So I'm going to write all of those um, coefficients here inside of this box. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the zero that comes from this factor and put it here. So if this is x minus 4, then a positive 4 is the zero that goes there. And then this is the way the process works. The first number will always come down. And then after that, it's multiply and put the result inside and then combine. Multiply, put the result inside, combine multiply, put the result inside, combine, and so on and so forth. So 4 times 2 is positive 8. Negative 10 plus an 8 is a negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Positive 4 and negative 8 is a negative 4. I'm combining as far as adding and subtracting depending on the signs. I am not multiplying here. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Only the guys down here multiplied by 4. The guys inside get added or subtracted according to their signs. So negative 21 minus 16 will give me a positive 5. 4 times 5 will give me 20. And then negative 20 plus 20 will give me 0. This last number I like to box. Always box your last number. This is your remainder. Okay. And then the factor that you divided by is your quotient. So if 4 is my 0, x minus 4 is my factor. And that is my, not my quotient, I said the wrong word, my divisor. That is what I was dividing by, okay? The rest of it is going to give me the quotient here. And so the last number is always going to be your constant, 
and then it's going to increase in degree until you get to the end. So after or before constants are x's, before x's are x squared, and before x squared are x cubed. Now this makes sense. You're taking a polynomial x to the fourth and dividing it by a binomial x. What happens when you take x to the fourth divided by x? You end up with an x cubed. So for this particular problem, our quotient is 2x cubed minus x squared minus 4x, and this is positive, so plus 5. And they want you to write your answer in this form. So my final answer will be 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 plus my remainder of 0 over my divisor, x minus 4. Now let's try another one, but it'll go a little bit faster because we've already um, talked about where the divisor and the remainder and the quotient are coming from. So this is my divisor. And if I take an x to the fourth divided by an x, I should end up with an x to the cube. Okay, just thinking out loud. Now the zero there is actually a negative four. This is in descending order. However, there's a term missing. I have negative 2 as the, expo the coefficient for x to the fourth. I have negative 7 as the coefficient for x cubed. I have positive 4 as the coefficient of x squared. I have nothing for the coefficient of x, so I have to put a 0. And then I have a positive 1 as my constant. You must put in zeros for missing terms. If it's the same thing as when you're trying to multiply or add numbers, every digit has a place value. And if you don't put in zeros for particular place values, it's a totally different value of a number. Okay, So you have to have your placeholders here for each and every variable. You start off with the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent, and then you have to go down from there. So since my highest exponent was x to the fourth, I had to have a coefficient for x cubed, I had to have one for x squared, I had to have one for x, and I have to have something for the constant. You start with the highest and you have to have something in there for every other term. And since I was missing x, I had to fill it in with the zero for that space. Now you go through the motions. First number comes down, anything down here gets multiplied by negative four and gets placed into the next spot. So negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1. Multiply those, I get negative 4. Combine those, I get 0. Negative 4 times 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. Negative 4 times 0 is 0. And here I get 1. This is my remainder. This is going to give me my quotient. Remember, start off with the constant, then x, x squared, x cubed. And there's my divisor. So my final answer is going to be negative 2x cubed. This is a positive 1x squared. 0x plus 0 constant plus my remainder over my divisor. Now although this is correct, you can clean it up. There's no need to write these two answers if there's nothing, or those two terms. And there's no need to write that one. So you can just write it as this and that is a more formal version of the answer.